Why did Liza Soberano stop posting pictures with Enrique Gil? Liza Soberano addressed why she hasn't shared anything about her lover Enrique Gil on her social media platforms in recent months. Everyone, welcome back! Today's video will discuss the internet's obsession why Liza Soberano stopped posting pictures with Enrique Gil. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Liza said in an interview with Bea Alonso for her vlog that she wants to avoid the love team notion and develop a solo career. I'm staying away from the love team thing. It's hard because everything that I'm trying to do now as a solo artist isn't being taken seriously or like isn't being respected. It's being interpreted negatively, Liza elaborated. In the same interview, Liza also addressed whether she ever had a romantic relationship with her current manager James Reed. Me and James, no. We never had a thing. I get so nervous about questions like that because people already assume the worst about me because I haven't been posting anything about Quinn. We haven't been seen in a project together, she said. Liza joined James's agency Careless in June of last year. Liza made a video in February of this year on where she wants to take her career. In the vlog, she said, I obviously know that it would be much easier to just stick to what has been working for me to stay forever the same and I know and I understand that it's unfair to all of the Liza Soberano fans and all the Liz Quinn fans. But I hope you understand that by doing so, by giving into the pressure of doing what everybody else wants for me, I am being unfair to myself, Hope Soberano. Liza and Enrique first appeared together on television in the 2014 ABS-CBN series. They then start in the 2016 musical Dolce Amore and the 2019 action-adventure Bagani. In 2015, the duo made their film debut as a couple in Just The Way You Are. They start in the hit film My Ex and Wise in 2017. They appeared in Alone Together in 2019. Liza will appear in a Hollywood film. It was reported in August of last year. Lisa Frankenstein is the title of the film. In the movie, she co-starred with Catherine Newton, Cole Sprouse, and Carla Gugino. Liza Soberano hasn't shared a picture of herself with her longtime lover Enrique Gil on social media in a long time. In a recent interview with Bea Alonso, the controversial actress said she had made the purposeful choice to stop posting images of them as part of her pledge to distance herself from their love team and concentrate on her solo career. I'm trying to stay away from the love team thing, Liza explained. It's hard because everything that I try to do now as a solo artist isn't being taken seriously or like isn't being respected as it's seen as something negative. People believe I'm some wild kid now since I'm not in a love team or continuously spotted with the same guy. It isn't genuinely usual. Liza acknowledged that many Liz Quinn fans were dissatisfied with her recent career change since it meant she and Enrique would be working on fewer projects together. I'm certain they are tempo. It's unfortunate when people assume that the initiatives they are working on are because of her when that's not the case," she remarked. I was eager to continue it even with the cancellations of Make It With You, she said, alluding to their last television production which was cancelled because of the COVID-19 epidemic in 2020. It was also a very uncertain moment. The narrative would have made no sense if all of the older individuals in the room had not been taped. It is not possible to have all of that bats. Therefore, I thought it doesn't make sense to continue this tale and I don't want to work on it since it will make me sick." Liza also said in the interview that she was scared about her career's future when Hello, Love, Farewell was given to Enrique and another of their contemporaries Catherine Bernardo. At that time, when I was in a love team, Hindi Konai Sibna Problemasia. Actually, Jung, Hello Love, Goodbye, Nick Catherine, and Alden were offered to Quinn and me first. I really wanted to make that movie, but they said, There's another project set up for the two of you, she recounted. Tapos while we were doing Bagani, Nabali Tanko, that they initially offered it to Catherine and Quinn, and that scared the shish out of me, she confessed. I was thinking, why did they do that? I asked them to save the project for Quen and me. Parang, please wait for us, because they inform us that if we don't pitch in, we won't be able to develop it further. So I was like, okay, we'll wait for it. Please keep it safe for us. And then, nalaman ko nalang, biglana, they were offering it to Quen still, but with Catherine. That concludes this video. We'll be back shortly with another informative video. 
Don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time.